feeling about what's happened this weekend with those three guys? You know, I, I think Coach said it well. I, I think it's unfair to the team to comment on the three guys. And I think your attention, and just like all our attention, be on the guys that played their hearts out today. I think this, I think this is an ultimate team game. And I think a player who can't show up for meetings, can't make practice, can't make weightlifting, disrespects himself. But I think more importantly, and I think this is what these young guys miss, they disrespect the team, the coaches, the staff, the fans. There's a lot of people in our organization whose livelihood depends on how well we do. And it's just, we're not going to tolerate people who are irresponsible no matter what round they're drafted in. So these young guys, we're going to give them a chance. They're young kids. We're going to work with them. Hopefully they'll grow up. But if they can't grow up and they can't be responsible to their teammates and the coaches and our great fans, then they won't be with Cleveland Browns. What do you think of the, the job that, that uh, Mike and Ray did in their first year? Or are they coming back? Absolutely. Absolutely. I think they've done a good job. Listen, we're all disappointed. You know, we're 7-4. and four. We didn't think we'd be 7-9. and nine, But I think it's a real... It's really positive how hard the guys played today. When you think how many guys we had hurt we're playing our third team quarterback who's never taken a snap in a live game, and we go toe to toe with a team that's made the playoffs now seven of the last eight years in their facility. And, you know, it went down to the wire. It was a 2010 game, and they made more plays at the end than we did, and they won the game. But guys played hard and did a good job. So we're happy with what Ray and Mike did. I know they're like I am. They want to get better next year, and we're going to go to work on that tonight. Do you feel like you guys kind of have to maybe go back to square one at your quarterback position, or do you know where, where that stands yet? You know, clearly quarterback's an important position in the NFL, and we've got to figure it out. I mean, if you look at the Browns and where they've struggled, they've struggled with a quarterback. So we know that's a position, like others, that we'll have to address. And Ray and his team will go to work on that tonight or tomorrow. What, do you, what have you seen from uh, Ray and, and Pat that makes you say, okay, I want to go forward with these guys? Terry, you've been around a long time, and I think one of the head coach's main jobs is get the guys to play hard. And this is a long season. I mean, think how bad, far ago it seems that we, you know, lost the game to Pittsburgh at the end of the game. That's a long time, and Pitt's done a great job of keeping the locker room together, playing play, play, play hard. I can't imagine having more distractions than we had this week. And the guys came out and, you know, playing with one arm behind their back gave a hell of a fight. Are you ready to? Are you prepared to say that? Johnny Manziel isn't your quarterback? Nah, you know, that's, that's, a, that's a comment for another day, and it's certainly not a comment I'm going to make. It's a comment for Ray and Mike to make. But I think they've done a good job this year. I think we're a better team, but we understand. Listen, this is a tough division. Think who's in the division. Steelers, who've won you know two Super Bowls in the last, what, eight years. Ravens have been in the playoffs seven out of eight years. And Cincinnati, depending on what happens, could win the division three years in a row. So we've got to be able to compete. But if you think we're two and four, not good enough. But beside the Cincinnati game, we were in every game. And I think you know we went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Baltimore twice. You know. Beat Pittsburgh badly once, lost another time. Beat Pitt Cincinnati badly once, and really in our only really disappointing, really disappointing game, you know, got blown out two weeks ago.